Hello again guys, just coming at you today with a quick but informative eyebrow tutorial. Um, this is how I get natural eyebrows and then also how I get what I consider Instagram brows. So if you'd like to see how to create both of those, just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to make myself look a little bit crazy here, but this is going to really demonstrate exactly why and how to fill your eyebrows in properly. So when doing art and when you're, when you're figuring the lines of the face, there's a few that you have to think of. Of course, there's obviously, I'm literally going to draw my face. There's obviously your center line, which, let's see if I can do the center. Oh, oh, oh. It's kind of centerish, right? Or like way off, but whatever. So you got your center line. And then of course you have your line where your eyes cross. So we'll just worry about the outside line. And then eyebrows are actually supposed to be where the ears are, so the bottom line kind of matches up almost where the ears are. Almost, nice close. But so you'd have a bottom line that you'd want to worry about, technically. And then your top line. Now there's no real uh, indicator of where the top line should be, but in this case, That's roughly my top line. So it's kind of like there's the eyes where the ear is and then a top line. So when we're figuring out eyebrows, the beginning line of your eyebrow should be edge of the nose, corner of the eye and up. So that is where your eyebrow should start. So if I draw, and I'm worried about a dot on my nose, like I have this all over my face, okay. So if I think about that, then I'm mostly just going to worry about corner of my eye up. But if I draw a straight up and down line, you know, that's roughly where you want. Now let's worry about the end of the eyebrow, corner of the nose, corner of the eye. If we were to draw a straight line, that's where you want it to end. So same thing, draw. A straight line up. So that's the end of the eyebrow. Now for the arch, most of the time if you're looking straight forward the way that they recommend you do it is the corner of the nose through the middle of the iris and straight up. Oh, I, just, I thought I saw like a cat or like some animal running down my neighbor's roof and it freaked me out man. Um, so if I look straight forward it's a little bit hard to do because, I mean, my arch is, like if I were to do it, my arch would be kind of at an insane angle. But that's roughly how they say to do it. But honestly, guys, I think as long as you are more towards the end, I don't know. So for our arch, what you want to do is you want to look at the line that's created from the edge of your nose through the eye and up through the center line, so right about there. So again, if I draw that, corner of the eye, kind of straight up. So it's roughly where you'd want that line. So with all of these lines combined, what that equals is how you want your eyebrows. So if I kind of connect those lines, so you've got beginning, arch, and end. If I were to draw a straight line from where the bottom line of my brow would be and connect that dot, you would have something like that. Then if I connect the arch down to the finishing line and where that line on the bottom is, you would have the bottom of your eyebrow. Starting from the top line, you've got this straight where, where you want the beginning of your eyebrow to be. So if this is what I've deemed as my top line and that's where my arch should be, if I continue this line to my arch, 
And then from that line, straight down, that my friends, amongst all the madness on my face, is how you get your eyebrows. So if we make that quick and easy on this side, if I do it, let's do it with uh, let's do it with an actual eyebrow pencil. This one is pretty pigmented, so it's it's it should show up. This one's pretty pigmented, so it should show up pretty good. But again, I envision so there's the corner of my eye, straight up. So rough. Really? Thanks, Maybelline. Oh, sorry, Revlon. My bad. Thanks, Revlon. Great product. Okay, next, skipping. Okay, we're just gonna go right back to this guy so that we can show you. So, corner, up, boom, beginning, out, dot, ending, through the middle, and that would be technically my arch. Arch. Beginning, arch, end. Connect those lines, dot, dot, and connect this line to the top of the arch, and down for the tail. This looks mad, but that is literally as easy as an eyebrow can be. So, now knowing those lines, I'm gonna move on, and I'm going to come back and show you guys exactly how to apply this concept into actually applying eyebrows. Okay, so now that we know how to map out our eyebrows, let me zoom you in, and we're going to start with what I call Instagram brows. So, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to start off with a wax. Um, you can use a palette that comes with a wax. I'm going to be using um, a pen wax, which it's, this is um, the No Bleeding Lips wax pen. And so what you want to do is just start filling in over top of your brow hair. And the reason for this is so that the powder that we're going to be applying will have something to adhere to. You don't have to be too neat about it. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to be applying your powder. So, you're going to want to take an angled brush. This is the Small Angle E65 by Sigma. And I'm going to be taking, um, this is a color called Omega by MAC. It's the best eyeshadow i found for blonde hair. So what you're going to do with that is just use your angle brush. And then wherever you put that wax, basically just draw this on right over top of the wax. And again, you don't have to be neat about this because you're going to be cleaning this up after with concealer. This is the way that I used to do my brows like every single day. It used to take me such a long time. Now, one of the uh, most important things I feel for Instagram brows is to continue the powder past. So, of course, as you know, that's where we want that end, like that, that uh, your brows to start. Take it past so that you'll have room to do a fade because that's usually what you see where it's lighter in here and then it starts to get darker. So if you take it past the center point or past where that beginning is, then you'll have room to do that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a spoolie, which is the name for this fancy thing on the end of, um, this is an actual eyebrow pencil, but sometimes they come individually, sometimes more times than not, they're on the end of an eyebrow pencil. And you're just going to, basically what this does is blend everything. But the secret is in here to lightly blend that out. You, you want this to fade out. Now, I unfortunately can't show this very well anymore because of the fact that I have my eyebrows tattooed, but for you 
girls and boys out there who don't, this will make more sense to you. So you want to blend this part out and then just comb all your hairs down. And now with a concealer brush, this is my Sigma F70. You wanna take a brush, something like this, and really any concealer, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be going in with my Age Rewind because it just happens to be what I have here. All I'm doing is I'm just taking the brush and I'm just loading up the brush with some concealer. And what you want to do is, I like to start on the bottom. Oh yeah, this should work okay. Following that same guideline that we did before with the line, 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 you know, straight and down, you want to recreate exactly that. So straight line on the bottom to your arch and then pull it down. And I'm just gonna feather out, just so it's easier to blend. But I'm just feathering this down lightly. That's my cellular device. And then I'm tapping with my finger. Just along that concealer there. And now top line. Straight up until you meet that point. And then down. And again, blending out that edge so that it's easier to blend out. Again, take your finger or you can take a beauty blender. It doesn't really matter. You just wanna blend out that edge. And now for this center point. So this can get a little bit tricky, so same thing. You wanna know where that ends, but I like to start like way too far in and then slowly make my way in. It also helps that you don't have like a ton of foundation, or sorry, concealer right here, so that you can blend it away a bit easier. Pat with our finger. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a beauty blender and we're just gonna press. You don't wanna bounce, just press. This will help to finish blending everything together. Now we're going to take some finishing powder, any kind that you have. I just happen to have uh, a little actually sample of Bare Minerals Translucent Powder. So I'm going to take that on any brush really. What one do I have? I have my Sigma F35. And all I'm going to do is just tap. I'm just gonna tap over top of that. That's gonna set the concealer and set the powder. And last step is that you're going to take a clear brow gel. Any one that you've got. This one happens to be, what is this? Brow Perfection by Prestige. This is kind of an old one that I've got. There's a, a few really good ones. Um, but any brow gel. And you're just gonna comb this through your brows. Up or down, it doesn't matter. I used to wear all my brow hairs down. I've started wearing them up now. I'm not totally sure why. Let that set, and that is what my rendition is of Instagram brows. Okay guys, so for this eyebrow, I'm gonna go in with my Geisha Ink Liquid Eyebrow Liner in Light Hair. One of my absolute favorite, favorite ones. But, so same thing. Our angles are at the nose, the iris, edge of the eye. So the way that I find these pens work best is if you start by doing your line along the bottom. So all the way up, find your arch and down and you want edge of the eye up. 
So you want to pull that down and kind of just do some light feathery strokes so that you don't end up with this really harsh line. Top of the eyebrow. Straight up, meet the arch, back down. And then just do light strokes to fill in this part. Now for the center line here, what I usually like to do is to find where my end is and almost just straight away, just start doing little hairs. Pretty much off this bottom line, I just work my way up with light hairs. Now if you do one like that, it's kind of crazy. That's okay, just use your finger. This stuff is pretty forgiving. You can just blend it away. But you're just going to create little brush strokes, little hair strokes, straight up to your liking. And then sometimes what I'll do, just depending on what that looks like, is I might just take my finger and just kind of almost press and wipe away just so that it's not such a, a harsh markered line, if you will. And then with a spoolie, I'm just gonna brush all my hairs up or down your preference. I guess if I were to show you the difference, that's with my hair up. And if I brush it all down, that's with my hair down. When you have your eyebrows this dark, it doesn't really make much of a difference, but uh, as of late, I've been in the habit of brushing them up. And there is kind of that idea that if you brush them up, it's a more youthful appearance. You can see this eyebrow I've done with my Geisha ink, and this eyebrow is done with powder and concealer. So when I zoom out, you can see quite a difference. Like, it, it's definitely darker. Like, this is like a more everyday wearable, and then this is more... I mean, it would look better if I had like a full, if I was actually like even wearing a little bit more makeup. I was kind of, at a nail in my tire. So today was like one of those like, oh my God, like hurry up and get ready for work. So I'm kind of filming this when I'm looking a little bit haggard, but that's okay. So that's the look guys. Now that I'm looking good and crazy, I'm waiting for the tire people to come and fix my tire, so I should probably get this off my face before they're like, but uh, thanks guys for watching. Love you all so much. Bye. Take care.